Hello and welcome. I am Bio, and today we're looking at another Garfield game. This time around we're looking at Garfield Caught in the Act for the Sega Genesis or Sega Mega Drive. Developed by Point of View, published by Sega, and released in December 1995. Yeah. So this is the second of the three kind of retro Garfield games we're going to be looking at. So... Yeah, um, let's have a look at the options first, see what options we have. So, difficulty, music, SFX, bonus round. Cool, we'll leave it at Kitty, because I'm probably going to suck at this game anyway, so let's dive right into it. Garfield. It's supposed to look like that. This is the end of our broadcast day. Oh, Odie's going... Arr! Oh no, the TV is bro- Oh no, the TV is broken. I can't do a Garfield voice, by the way. If we can't fix it, we're in trouble. There, all fixed, sort of. Oops, extra parts. Hey, oh god, he- he-, he and then yeah, the extra parts turned into some robot that sent him into the TV land. Of course. I'm in the TV! Oh no, I'm Garfield. Help me. I'm in the TV. Oh god. Well, that's not disorientating. Is it supposed to look like that? Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. I don't think the game is supposed to look like this. Um, strangely enough. I have no clue why it's like this. Um, bear with me. Like this. Could it be because I changed it from Vulcan? One thing I don't like about Retro Arc, and this is the reason why I, I don't really like using it, but it's just easy and convenient for like retro games, is I don't know how to change nothing. I don't need just like drivers, input. I don't know. That one? That one? Why not? It's like like I'm changing things, and yet I'm not seeing any any change. Also, what? How do I get back to the game? I'm pressing like all the buttons on the controller, and no button gets lets me go back to the game. It's like why? Why is it like this? Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I have to. I'm gonna try and see if I can play this via some other method. Um, I'm now playing it via a Genesis, a specific Genesis emulator called Gens, and it's, it looks exactly the same. So, I don't know why he keeps doing that. So I'm led to believe. Oh. I'm just dying. Fantastic. Alright, back to Retro Arc then. Back at it again. We'll we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Okay, I think the game it is supposed to look like this. I think what you're supposed to do is jump from here to here, then to here, and then you hold on to the railing. Yeah, okay. Now I understand to get to the door. But it is actually supposed to look like that. Okay, fine. I thought there was like a graphical issue or something. That's a good sign in it when you start a game and the first thought you have is is that a graphical issue? No, it is meant to look like that. Okay, yeah, okay. Ah. Okay. That's nice, isn't it? This again, once again, welcome, welcome to once again the reason why you don't see me play retro games. I, because every single time it's always the same, the same thing. Like I end up getting hit or by something that I don't want to get hit by. Like a ghost comes out of there, fantastic. Oh yeah. Yeah, I 
Am I invulnerable here? What what is this? Nope. Get out of here. Fantastic. What is... So confused. Okay, so is this being... Does this thing crush me or... No, I think this takes me back to the... Could you... F I'm losing all my lives due to respawning enemies. This is why I don't like... Why I don't like retro games. I hate them. I actually... No, I, when I mean I hate them, I do. It is that... Where am I? What, where am I? Am I, in this, I'm in the same place again! Oh! This is just... Can <laughs> I hate this so much. Uh, uh, I hate it so much. And I'm dead. I hate it. I ha I'm sorry. I really, I just hate these games. I hate them so much. I just, I can't, I'm, this is why you don't see me play retro games. Like, you'll have like, stuff like that. Hand coming out. I could, uh, I'm trying to make a po <laughs> Go away. Just leave me alone. Ugh. Just get out! Go away! Go! I've got this weak, pathetic weapon. And it is a weak, pathetic weapon. Oh, I'm just getting angry now! Welcome to, like, the reason why you don't see me play retro games. Because I just end up getting so angry with them. Because I just don't like the way they're designed at all. Really, look, I've got one life left. We're at the same point again because I just keep getting hit. Is that a checkpoint? It better, better be a checkpoint. And look, we died again. We're going to keep dying in the same spot. Oh, well, you need to learn how to learn how to what? Learn how to what? Uh, I'd like you to point out what? What am I supposed to learn here? We've got these stupid enemies throwing bones at me. Do I dodge them? What do I do? Got ghosts spawning. Oh look, a free hit! Because for some reason, this decided no, we're not gonna we're not gonna use anything. Nah, 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 nah. We ain't gonna do that. Nah, 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 nah. The only thing I could say is that do you know? Can do people find it entertaining me getting angry with these games? I don't know. But well, say say hello for just me getting angry. The other thing I want to point out is. There should not be a... There's like... There's another thing I want to point out, right? Garfield has some invincibility frames, but he reacts to the hit. He makes it... He makes it like... You get this like stunned animation. Don't have that. Don't have that in the game. There you go. That was a free hit. Because that bat just spawned out. No, that was a free hit. There's no way you could have dodged that. Why do I have to hit that enemy three times? Oh, the gate! Landing on the gate hurts. Oh, another another one. Apparently landing on the gate also hurts you. I, again, I don't, I don't know what hit me there. That was a bit different. Fantastic. Oh, look, the bat respawned. Fantastic. Exactly what I like. Free hit there, just because the uh, it just decided not to work. Okay. Yep. Don't 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 mind me. I really do not like retro games. Oh, to me, a PlayStation One game is not retro. This is retro. Oh, so it's taking me back here, which is nice. Hit free hit.
So, ugh, another free hit there. That's going to hit me no matter what. I'm going to have to stop playing here because I'm just, I'm just, is this game's just frustrating me if I'm honest. And this is the, this is, this is the point I like to make. They designed games to be short. But incredibly difficult. I'm playing it on kitty difficulty, and yet I'm still having trouble with this game. That says a lot. It really does. Because, well, it's, it's not my type of game. That's maybe what it is. You know, maybe it's because these games are way, way before my time, and I just can't play them. Because it's just, you know, my tolerance level is not like it used to be when it comes to video games. I'm very, very specific about what I like. So... But like I said, I'm always trying to find new games to play that I'm all interested in. So, but yeah, it is what it is. You know, you're going to get this with me with retro games in, in general. Anything that's pre PlayStation 1, it's going to be getting the, you'll get the same. Unless I'm like playing it and I'm like, oh my word, that this game is actually reasonable. You know, when they do cheap stuff like this, all I can't help but do is call it, call it shit. But people say, oh, well, it takes skill. It takes skill. No, it takes a good memory. It's nothing to do with skill. It's memory. It takes a good memory. If you've got a photographic memory, you watch a playthrough of this game on YouTube, so you remember every single enemy, every single part. Technically speaking, you could play for, play through the game and not get hit because you you can predict every single hit that's going to come because you've got a photographic memory. There you go. Your argument's invalid. There you go. Your argument's fucking stupid. Skill. You want skill? I believe a game that is difficult but completely and utterly fair in its difficulty and i always refer to dark souls because dark souls is difficult but fair you know some people say ah oh, dark souls isn't difficult that's fair enough you don't find difficulty in it but a lot of people find a game the, the game series in general difficult including me but i find the difficulty to be rewarding games like this you know that bone that's coming towards me right now could I dodge it? Possibly. Am I going to dodge it? Most likely not, because Garfield doesn't react in time. I react fast enough on the controller, but Garfield on the screen doesn't react fast enough. And then that's the issue. That's the major issue. So, but anyway. That's it. I'm not playing any more of this game. That was Garfield caught in the act for the Sega Genesis and or Mega Drive. I've been by. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. One more retro game. Just one more. Then we can actually have some uh, reasonable games. <laughs>